everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Pokemon Mashups. Today we're mixing Goku with Infernape, and this suggestion was given by Saga Edge. Alright, let's get started. So here we're just starting with a rough, right off the bat, gonna try a uh, pose here. Uh, thinking about having more of a muzzle, because Goku also goes into a uh, ape form, all the way back when, the old uh, original Dragon Ball series, back when he had his tail. Uh, I really like that both these characters are based off the Monkey King, who, uh, you know, has the cloud and the staff and real cool poses, even from old mythical drawings. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the one I'm going to stick with, and once again, just very rough lines. Um, I'm going to try a, a combo of some of his evolutions uh, with the fire going on as well, so I think it's like Super Saiyan 3, where he gets the crazy mane of hair going. Just keeps on getting stronger and stronger all the time. Uh, there's also that other uh, level where he gets that uh, red torso and uh, hair going on, and I, I don't even know what level that is. You'll have to <laughs> let me know. But whatever it is, it sure does look cool. So this is actually the first time in quite a long time that I've even made an attempt at drawing any sort of uh, anime. Uh, back in school, we were initially discouraged unless uh, from doing anime unless we want to devote our lives to it and work overseas for far less pay. But I'm really lucky to that right now I can just, you know, get going with whatever I want. The uh, eye in particular was pretty uh, tricky because uh, with this style uh, it can look sort of plastered on versus uh, really involved with the head. Uh, that hair also, <laughs> uh, so much detail. Um, let's see, giving him uh, more simplified fingers, sort of like the Infernape character, uh, rather than having his bare chest stick out uh, like in his uh, evolved form, which is a little bit weird. I uh, figure I'd give him a tuft of uh, white hair there. That kind of matches up with what uh, Infernape has going on. So I do have uh, some great news. There's uh, some more awesome artists that I know from real life who I've uh, been talking to about doing these sort of things and. Well, uh, I'm hoping to eventually have a episode that's just guest artists, because they've got some really cool styles and something different that I'd like to share for sure. Uh, a few mashups have already been done, so I'm just waiting for a few more, and then I'll be able to make just a nice compilation. Alright, so, <laughs> did the a little pause break in between uh, doing the cleanup and the colors. I find it's a little bit disorienting if you see me doing all the different color picking because it can go pretty crazy on the eyes until I find the right one. I do think I'm improving though, which is pretty nice. Um, the last little thing that I sent over to Maddie, who has helped me with color correction in the past, actually gave me the, well, pretty much the thumbs up, only like some minor things, so that's pretty great. Uh, although this right now definitely needs some work, but that's alright, it, uh, it goes through the process later. Alright, so adding some nice fire effects in behind there, uh, just like Charizard for that mashup. I think that was episode 5. Uh, trying his whole power-up thing here, playing with some colors, and uh, looked it up, and they don't actually have a, a solid uh, fill. It's very messy and just sort of a outer line, and that's how they get away with that uh, bright yellow and stuff like that. Alright, so we have the rough. The more detailed rough, the colors and fill, the shading, the fire effects, the powering up effects, and then some last second color changes, which I think help it improve it a lot. And as a special treat, here we have Zam's uh, version of it. When I mentioned this mashup, I <laughs> asked him if he wanted to do one too, and he did not disappoint. He's been doing a lot of work with watercolors recently, and they're all really awesome. You can find links to this image and the ones that I made too in the description. And as always, if you have a suggestion, please put it in the comment. I've actually built up a little Google Docs thing that I've shared with a lot of great artists, and they, uh, some of them have put down dibs on what they want to make. So thank you all for watching. Once again, please like and subscribe.